This Saturday marked Veterans Day. It's a day where we honor and recognize those who have served our country for our freedom. The 13 WRX's Dylan Valencia sat down with two local veterans on what this day means to them. Good morning, Dylan. Yeah, good morning, Manny. Well, one thing I learned when I sat down with these veterans was that they come from all backgrounds and different ages, and many of them are just trying to put back together the lives they left behind and also learn more about the lives of the loved ones that continued on without them. They shared some of their sacrifices for our country. Take a look. I feel like veterans try and search for that camaraderie. We're forced to grow up, specifically due to the outcomes of coming back from war and not necessarily realizing the things that you're struggling with. Two veterans, one only 23, having served for three years, the other for 12 years. I got the opportunity to go to Afghanistan and I also got the opportunity to go and serve in Kuwait and Iraq. I just always felt the need to, to serve my country. Both know how important the need is for community after returning from deployment. I know several people that have had, you know, family members pass away or even kids that are born while they're on deployments and, and that kind of thing as well. And I, I think that stuff matters to people, missing the important moments with your family. I mean. That stuff is, that stuff is hard as well. I think that's probably one of the hardest aspects of the military for most people. This same reason is why Sean committed his time to serve our local veterans. After years overseas, he wants to improve the lives of those after serving. And what I mean by identity crisis is that for 12 years in the military, I was an army soldier, I was uh, a leader. And then just like that, I, I didn't have that anymore. In the area, there's lots of veterans who struggle with, with housing, substance abuse, um, employment, and a lot of times all those things go, go hand in hand. Now the new director at Veterans Drop-In Center, he wants to continue to provide resources for all veterans and wants to see more services like this. One misunderstanding of, of veterans, but we're always big and tough and all this because of like the, the action that we might have seen or the, the training that we might have gotten, but we're, we're normal people, we're, we're, we're human beings, we have family members, and for some of us it might, it might just take us a little longer to get over those barriers. People do change in the military, and I think it's, it's hard to like adjust back to even people that you've known your whole life. And for more information on the Veterans Drop-In Center in Rockford and how you can help out, you can find all that on our website, WREX.com.